<laughs> so I'm going to read part eight of Mistaken Identities, which is, I'll give away the answer now, it's Coleridge. <laughs> to repair my health and our fellowship, to help me overcome what he called my self-indulgences, my dearest friend invited me to join him and his sister on a journey, a tour to remote parts of Scotland. At the time, I dreaded sleep. The nightmares that terrified me were more vivid than anything I saw with open eyes. Suffering from addiction, in love with a woman I could never possess, dejected, jealous <coughs> of my friend's accomplishment. Whilst my own creative power waned, estranged from him and everyone I loved, mayhap I should not have agreed to accompany them. We sat back to back on benches that ran the length of an open carriage, a laughable equipage yanked about my, by a swayback mare. It rained and rained, and I had to listen helplessly to his irrepressible sister, who, thinking to lift all our spirits, recited his verses for mile upon mile. We parted ways with little money, no change of clothes and poor shoes. This wayward sample of mortality walked 263 miles in eight days. One night during that time, somewhere, Oh, somewhere, in the company of strangers, suffering from hunger, bloody feet, hysterical fits, uncontrollable weeping, stomach pains, <laughs> dreams of shame and terror, I resolved to marry my philosophical investigations to the daily thrills and fears of my own extinction, and thus engender and engild the great book of my life. Who am I? Yeah. <laughs> 